The falls and the upper lock are at the heart of the Minneapolis Central Riverfront at the West Bank end of the Stone Arch Bridge near a Womney restaurant. The property shares a boundary with Waterworks Park Phase 2 and lies within the 72-mile Mississippi National River Recreation Area, a national park. The falls is one of several significant Dakota sites along the river that are now being acknowledged and transformed through indigenous leadership. The upper lock and the land surrounding it are currently owned federally, but congressional legislation in 2020 directed conveyance of the land, but not the lock, to the city of Minneapolis for a public purpose. The city, park board, and friends of the falls will work together to secure site control and strongly support a native-centered process to determine the future of the site. The land in question lies at the convergence of the upper lock, the falls, and the stone arch bridge. Below the falls, just south of the bridge, the land slopes down to the water between a retaining wall on one side and the navigation guide wall on the other. That guide wall leads out to a stone jetty, which may be all that remains of Spirit Island, a spiritual place where women went to give birth, surrounded by water at the foot of the falls. The island was quarried for limestone during the early industrialization of the river and later entirely demolished to construct the lock. When we think about a new chapter for the falls, it is essential to begin with the truth of this place. The site is not an empty piece of land waiting to be filled with new activities. It is already full, rich with meaning, stories, and memories. And we need to do the work of growing our understanding of all that's already there. And so we begin with learning. How has this history impacted our Dakota people, our people, in both the rural and urban context? We all know about intergenerational trauma. We're all suffering from it. Mm. We're all experiencing it. We're all bouncing off the walls, trying to get through it. And that is due to the history, the uh, history that wasn't shared, wasn't given, wasn't kept. But the good news is I've been taught that the earth remembers. Ooh. So the more time we spend in a place in silence and ceremony, the more we can remember, both the bad and the good. Thank you to the Dakota tribal leaders in Minnesota and our greater Native community for partnering with us on the Falls Initiative. You have been instrumental in leading the conversation about a future for Owamni Yamni, St. Anthony Falls, revitalizing the lock and dam, 
is an amazing opportunity to connect downtown to the central riverfront and further realize our natural asset in the falls. It's also an opportunity to change the way the city of Minneapolis works with our native communities. We cannot achieve our goals without acknowledging the full history of this place. And we cannot achieve our goals without a process of truth and reconciliation. The Falls Initiative Native, Native Partnership Council, which includes representatives of tribal governments, has set strong values for this project's community engagement process and the future design. It is truly humbling to learn from the indigenous leaders, elders, artists, and environmentalists who are at the center of these conversations. I'm committed to continuing to listen and learn as the Native community shares its vision for the falls. We're open to considering alternative models for ownership and operations and returning the land to the tribes or a Native partner if that is what the community desires. Thank you for joining us in this process and I look forward to continuing this conversation.